Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a shopping haul fashion video for you today. I've been doing a little damage. I did some shopping at Tory Burch and I also checked out Prime Wardrobe Service from Amazon, which I'm going to tell you all about and show you some items that I got. So I'm just going to start with Tory Burch and if you know me, you won't be surprised. It's shoes. I can't help myself. I really like Tory Burch shoes and I couldn't resist these. They were on sale. I was looking for some sandals and I found these. They're cute little thongs. Aren't they adorable? They must have been a special line or something because they say Love Tory on them. They came in white and they also came in the red and uh, I almost got red but then I thought I don't really wear that much red so I figured that white cream would be the best choice. But what I love about them is from the side they have this cute little puffy heart right here so it makes a heart shape and then if you look at it from the top you can see that it has the, the Tory Burch T emblem on it. So I thought they were really really cute. They are genuine leather. I did check before I purchased them because I did have a bad experience once with Tory Burch sandals that were not leather. But these are leather. They're squishy and very flat with a nice rubber bottom on them. So simple and easy. Everyday thongs. You can't go wrong with these. I wear thongs all the time in the summertime. So I had to pick these up because I thought they were so cute. Now I want to talk about Prime Wardrobe. So if you uh, belong to Amazon Prime, they have a service called Prime Wardrobe in which you can do some shopping. You can pick up to eight items. They will send them to you free of charge. You check them out. You've got seven days to decide whether you want them or not or what you want to purchase. You send back what you don't want, free shipping again, and then they will charge you for what you keep. So I thought it was a great opportunity to do some shopping because I was looking for some sundresses. I love sundresses in the summertime. It's like my go-to because all you have to do is throw them on and any shoes you want, any bag you want, and, and you usually look very pulled together. So I figured I would get a couple to replace some old aging ones in my wardrobe. And I started looking on Amazon Prime and I thought they had a great selection. So I figured I'd give this Prime wardrobe a try. You do have to be you do have to subscribe to Amazon Prime in order to get this, but there's a couple things to know. If you are looking for specific items, you should probably, when you're doing a search, click on the Prime Wardrobe box, and that way all of the items that you come up will be uh, available or eligible for Prime Wardrobe. Another thing to consider is that there is on the upper right-hand corner, usually is where you add things to your cart, but if you're going to be buying through Prime Wardrobe, you have to make sure that you select the Prime Wardrobe cart rather than the regular cart. Otherwise, it'll just go to your normal cart and you will be charged accordingly. So you do have to be careful of that. As I was shopping, I found that a couple items in different sizes and in different colors were not necessarily available through Prime Wardrobe. So like if you're looking and it says it's Prime Wardrobe eligible, but then you go and click your size and your color, that might not be. So that's something to watch out for too. So this is my first experience with it. Everything came within about a week and a half, I would say, but it did come in three different packages. So I chose six items. You could choose up to eight, and I just have to decide what I want to keep, and I'll send the rest back in the uh, shipping, with the shipping label that they gave me, and it should be uh, pretty pain-free. So let's take a look at what I purchased, or what I'm thinking of purchasing. The first thing is <laughs> shoes. So you can't be surprised, right? Um, they came in a nice box, but the box had so much wrapping that I just threw the box away because I knew I was gonna keep them. These are Vince Camuto. You can see they are espadrilles. I was looking for a pair of black espadrilles and I fell in love with these. I thought they were perfect because they have just the right heel height. This is about a three and a quarter inches, I would say. And of course the front is about a half an inch, so they don't feel that high. They are leather uppers and they have this great ankle strap, which I think makes them uh, look that much more elegant. Sometimes espadrilles will have the lacings up the, the leg and you have to tie them and everything. And those are cute, but I find them to be a pain in the neck because a lot of times they do untie. But these are really 
comfortable. I've worn around the house. I've actually worn these out already too because I knew I was going to keep them as soon as I put them on my feet. They are very comfortable and I got them true to size. I do wear a size six and a half, seven. I opted for the seven because in the summertime, you know, sometimes your feet swell a little bit and I like the seven so I'm definitely keeping these. They come in a lot of colors too. So black was not the only choice. There were quite a few colors. I can't even remember what they were. I know there were tans and reds might even have been in blue, but ultimately I went with black because I thought it is the universal color and it's going to go with everything. And for most of the dresses that I am trying on, I am modeling these shoes as well. So really like these, definitely keeping the Vince Camuto shoes. The next item that I have is a bias cut skirt and they are all the rage. I did a video a couple weeks ago on my bias cut skirt and how to wear them and I spotted this one and I thought the fabric was beautiful because it looks sort of like an animal print except it's not as loud as an animal print. It is a very subtle silvery gray with the white sort of animal printy kind of dots on it and it has a nice elastic waistline and the seams were nice and straight on the sides too. I did check that and it kind of flares out at the bottom ends about mid calf so overall when i looked at it in the packaging i was very pleased with it on the model in the picture i also liked it but i don't know if i like it so much on me i kind of had a hard time styling this one because the waistband is a little bit higher and you have to get the right combination shirt and, or top to go with this and i just didn't find anything in my wardrobe that was really um, setting it off and I don't feel like it's special enough that I can justify it This was a little bit more on the pricier side than some of the other items that I picked up uh, So overall it is very well made. I have to say that I'm not displeased with the quality the hem is nice and even and it does feel nice but for some reason i just don't feel like it's working for me so i might play around with it a little bit more but i'm not really sure about this one so if you want to leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know whether you think i should keep the bias cut skirt or not i'd be interested to hear your opinion okay let's get into the dresses that i was looking at everything else is going to be a dress so the first one I picked up was this right here. This is from Max Studio. I have several Max Studio dresses. I always like them for summer because I find them very comfortable. So the pattern on this one was really was caught my eye because the colors are so beautiful. It has sort of this handkerchief kind of hem and it has this beautiful border on the bottom and the blue is absolutely stunning. It's the most gorgeous sky blue. And then the rest of it has these shades of poppy and uh, turquoise and pink on them. A really beautiful, beautiful pattern. Uh, the dress itself is cut in a little bit but not too much in the neckline, just a simple boat neckline, and then it is an A-line shape. So it is very pretty. Uh, again, I'm not sure I'm keeping this one though because I feel like it's not exactly what I was going for. I thought it was gonna be a little more casual, but in actual fact, it is fully lined and it is a little bit more of a formal, dressy kind of fabric. Uh, looks a little bit like a chiffon kind of maybe polyester but um, all in all a very beautiful dress I just don't need a dress like this so if you were going to a summer wedding uh, I think this would be perfect especially if it wasn't really really dressy but I don't think I'm gonna get enough use out of this to actually keep this one although it is very pretty it's just not exactly what I was looking for so again if you have an opinion on that let me know I did style it with my by far uh, square toe sandals and I thought it looked pretty with those but um, not overwhelmed with that one. The next item I have is a very simple tank dress but this one is an A-line. It has the most beautiful feel to it because it is very very soft. Now the cotton is a little bit thin which is my only complaint with this. It is Amazon Essentials if you're familiar with them. They do have very nice cotton and they usually do a very nice basic so as far as basics go you can't go wrong with this this is just a tank dress with the swingy hem and i love it in black it's weird i really like 
black sundresses. You would think in the summertime that I would go like a lighter color, but honestly, I think black sun sundresses are so elegant. And this thing goes with anything. You could throw this with your sandals, with your sneakers, even heels if you wanted to dress it up a little bit, put a jacket on it, or even just as a bathing suit cover up. So even though it is not the most spectacular dress I've ever seen for $20, I really don't think I can go wrong. So I definitely think I'm keeping this one and I'm hoping that it's gonna wear really well. I've had experience with Amazon Essentials before and I have found that they wash and wear very nicely. The last two dresses were the style of dresses that I initially started shopping for in the first place. And I was looking for sort of a baby doll dress, or if that is not a term that they use anymore, that's what we always call them when I was little, I think maybe like a swing dress, but it's just a big loose dress and it has a ruffly bottom. So this one has two tiers of ruffles, long sleeves, a V-neck, and it's in this beautiful fabric, which is a black background with some whitish flowers and some yellow in there as well. And I really liked it because it's cute without being too um, girly. And I also like the sleeves because they are elastic, but it's a nice loose elastic so you can push it up easily if you're a little bit warm. And another thing I like about this dress is that the hem is a little bit shorter in the front than in the back, so it just gives it a little more shape. This one is out of a beautiful uh, fabric. It feels like rayon, just easy, lightweight, uh, very swingy. Um, it doesn't cling, and I really, really love this one. So out of all of them, I think this is possibly my favorite, and I feel like it goes with everything. Again, flat sandals, even flip-flops or the espadrilles, or you can dress it up a little bit, maybe some little booties if you wanted to, because I feel like you can get away with this for a couple seasons too because of the long sleeves. So this one is from Good Threads, and I really do like this one. I think definitely keeping that one. And the last item is actually the first one that I spotted when I started doing all of this shopping, and it, I, I thought it was so cute. Now this is from a company called MyTilly, M-I-T-I-L-L-Y, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it comes in so many different color options. I, there must have been 10 or more color options. They had it in navy blue and green and red, but this one is sort of this medium blue that I absolutely love, and the polka dots are sort of randomly placed, kind of like a little bit more oval than round, which I thought was also cute. But the overall style of this is so pretty and the fabric is really, really nice. It feels again like a, it actually feels like an acetate. Now this one's not lined, but it's also not very see-through, so I wouldn't worry about what sort of undergarment you're wearing with this one. It has, now this version has the shorter sleeves, so these are three-quarter sleeves with the little bell ruffle on them. But you do have to be careful because some of the options are a little bit different. Some have a longer sleeve, some of them don't have the ruffle in the front here. But I like this ruffle because it goes around the back and then it sort of hugs your waistline in the back. So it really has a very cute fit in the back and then in the front it just looks sort of sweet and, um, easy and very comfortable and I also like the fact that the collar stands up with this little ruffle as well. So I'm very, very happy with this one. I'm definitely going to be keeping that one and the other print one, probably the black one and I'm not sure about the other items. So as soon as I make my decision, all I have to do is send back the items that I don't want, free shipping, and then Amazon will charge me for the things that I am buying. So I'm uh, pretty pleased overall with the way the Prime Order works, and I will link everything down below if you're interested. There are, again, a lot of different sizes and different color options for some of these dresses, so you can definitely check it out and uh, do some shopping. So that is it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below and let me know what you think of the items that I'm debating about. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Take care.